the dark side of social media and one woman's nightmarish struggle over several years to elude her stalker. Hers is a chilling case starting with the way she was approached with a friend request on Facebook from a for former college classmate. Their interaction quickly took a disturbing turn and then as the ominous tweets and YouTube posts piled up, it took over her life. Patrick Michoni posted dozens of threatening tirades on YouTube. You stupid, ungrateful piece of... All directed at one woman. In sickness and in health until the day you die. His obsession, former college student Kristen Pratt. It stops you in your tracks. It just kills you emotionally. For three years, Patrick Michoni used social media as his weapon, cyber stalking Pratt through YouTube. Messages like these, I want to tie your wrists together. I'm going to follow you home from work. And tweets like this one, it is up to you now to save your life. I have no options. Not to mention dozens of phone calls a day. Pratt worried for her life. Describe what that's like to be paranoid 24 hours a day. Makes you question the world around you and it instills fear. Would you check the shower? Would you check the closet? When oh you came yeah, home? I would check all the time. I used to have dreams that he found out where I lived and broke into my house and waited till I went to sleep and would kill me. It all began out of the blue in 2008 when Michoni contacted Pratt, then 19 years old, on Facebook, reminding her they had taken a class together two years earlier at a community college. They had never even officially met. She says the conversation was initially polite. You were innocently responding uh -huh. to him, yeah. thinking this is, could be a friend. Yeah, exactly. But about a half dozen messages later, things quickly turned frightening. Stuff about how he wanted to kill me before I kill him, or um, he would break my neck, my boyfriend's neck. Michoni was finally charged with cyber stalking, and last week Pratt faced him in court. I was always nervous and frightened that at any moment I could walk out of a building and nobody would ever see me again.